Do you know some of these people who believe they are always right? Or perhaps they always have an opinion about every topic, even though they know nothing about it? Or perhaps these are the people who believe that certain rules do not apply to them? Well, we could be dealing here with a very interesting phenomenon called the Dunning-Kruger effect. Would you like me to tell you more about it? If yes, stay tuned. Hi, this is Sebastian Antonovich and on my 5 Minute Psychology channel I talk about many different topics related to psychology. Today I'm going to tell you about the Dunning-Kruger effect. Maybe you have already asked yourself a question. Why is it so that so many people say I don't need science to tell me what I should think about the anti-COVID-19 coronavirus vaccine? I know better than that. I have my common sense. Well, the thing with the common sense is that it's not that common. Why do so many people decide to search for a solution to their health problem on the net rather than to go straight to the general practitioner. And why are there so many people in the world who decide to invest their all life savings into a risky business? The answer to all of these questions could be the Dunning-Kruger effect. According to two psychologists, David Dunning and Justin Kruger, incompetent people are so incompetent that they don't even know they are incompetent. In other words, the more incompetent you are in a particular area, the more you believe in you being right. Incompetent people are incredibly, incredibly confident in themselves. They have this little something which they feel is knowledge, but in fact, it's not knowledge. So at work, low performers are not able to see how badly they are performing. And what is more, they are unable to evaluate if someone else is a top performer or a low performer. And very often they mix these two. Very often they say things like, ooh, he just got promoted because he's friend with the manager. Or they say, I have no idea why he is so uh, well awarded. He should never be that. These are the low performers who underestimate top performers and who overestimate themselves and other low performers. Think how this approach can change the way people think, they make decisions, they invest their money. So who is affected by the Dunning-Kruger effect? Is it only the hillbillies, the uneducated people, maybe the elderly, or maybe the teenagers, right? Wrong! Absolutely everyone is prone to this phenomenon. What is more, people with certain expertise in a particular area, they seem to believe that their knowledge is universal. So if someone is a good psychologist, they may think that they are also a good dietitian. Because after all, they have a PhD, don't they? Perhaps it means that they know better than anyone else. This is how the Dunning-Kruger effect works. So how can you recognize these people? Well, there are certain phrases you can hear them saying. Like, for example, I don't need science to tell me anything. I have my common sense to guide me. Or, I know better than these university professors. Or, it worked for my father, it works for me, so it will work for everyone. These people, they also have a tendency to find simplistic solutions to very complex problems. Like, for example, what should we do to encourage more unemployed people to search for a new job? Well, they could say something like, oh, we just need to give them more money, right? This is not a real solution, but for them, it's simple enough, it sounds smart somehow. This is why they believe that their own solution is the right one, and all the rest of the world, of the universe, is wrong, stupid, somehow. Or, I know that chlorine kills bacteria and viruses, so how can I fight COVID-19? Well, perhaps I should inject some chlorine into my veins. It should disinfect the whole body. Don't do that, by the way. It's not a good solution to the problem. Let me know in the comments if you recognize some of these behaviors in people you know. And would you like to know how to overcome the Dunning-Kruger effect in yourself? If yes, watch my next video. And I'll see you next time.